Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am a Kindle book junkie. I love to buy Kindle books when they go on deep sale. I know there are another bunch of Kindle book junkies out there with me who just cannot resist that cheap sale, whether it's 99p if you're in the UK or $1.99 if you're the, in the United States. It's just very hard to resist books that go on sale. And you just buy them like they're crack. For some day, you may read them, maybe you won't, because they're so cheap, you don't care if you never actually get to read them. You have them on your device for that day when you want to read it, and you don't want to pay full price. Now, how is the best way to determine if the book or a book that you want is on sale? There are a couple of websites that you can sign up to that will give you alerts when certain books are on sale, but I'm, I'm going to give you a tip and a trick for a, um, a very manual way to check if your books are on sale. And actually, I find it much more useful than the alert sites. It's just how I do this. So how do you do this? First, they're going to give you a couple of tips and tricks. Um, you may want to adjust depending on your preferences. The way I use it is I put my Kindle books on a wish list. Now, the wish list I, I use is a private wish list, so um, people can't shop it and buy books off of it. It's just my preference. You can use an ordinary wish list if you want to. But essentially, this is how you do it. Um, you hold up your, your whatever device you use to um, browse Amazon, and near the bar up there, you're going to say, hello, it says Greg. Um, uh, of course, your name will be on your account, but it says account and list. So you check there and towards the left hand side, you'll see your lists and they'll include your wish list. Uh, for me, I have um, a separate wish list for my private books. If you don't know how to create a private account, just go down below. Um, it says create a list and you just push that button and I'll say, what do you name your list? And you set it to private so no one else can see it. But for those purposes, we're just gonna go look at um, my current private list. And by default, it will show your books in order that you added them to your account. Um, but, and again, this is gonna change if you're using an iPad or an iPhone, it's gonna be slightly different how you arrange it. But on this one, you will see uh, this little drop down tab. It says unpurchased. You click on that and you sort by price low to high. Um, it's a little more complicated on the iPhone. It makes you do two steps. Don't ask me why. Um, but now all your, your Kindle books are sorted by price. And you can see I have um, an audio book that's um, on Kindle Unlimited, that's that's zero. I haven't added it yet because I'm not sure I'm gonna watch it. But then you can start scrolling through the books that you've added. Now, the first one is The Rosary Murders, a father coastal mystery. And it's now on sale for 99 cents. That is a really good price. Um, the price has dropped 80%. It was normally $4.99. Um, now, $4.99 is not a huge amount to pay for an ebook, which is why I'm sort of resisting buying it for 99 cents. Also, my public libraries have this ebook on their list. So again, that's why I'm not purchasing it for 99 cents. But normally 99 cents for an ebook is really, really good. So all you have to do is start scrolling through the books that you put in your list and it will tell you what the current price is. If the price has dropped, it will tell you how much the price has dropped by. Unfortunately, they don't tell you if the price has increased. So um, you just sort of have to remember. Of course, I don't, of course. And you go through, and now some of these, of course, are um, on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm not doing that one. I can scroll through some titles here. 
And there was one tempting one. I, I can't remember where is that one. I saw it earlier today. Here we go. Here is a book that when I put it on the list, it was $14.99. It is now $1.99. This is The First Day of Spring by Nancy Tucker. I don't remember a whole lot about that. Um, but going through this, it tells me is meet Chrissy. Chrissy is eight and she has a secret. She has just killed a boy. The feeling made her belly fizz like soda pop. Her playmates are tearful and their mothers are terrified, keeping them locked indoors. But Chrissy rules the roost. She is the best at wall walking. She knows how to get free candy and she has a feeling of power that she never gets at home where food is scarce and attention scarcer. Now, one of the things you could also do on this list is um, you can put a little note saying who recommended this book. I can't remember for the life of me who recommended this book. But you know something? I'm going to bite the bullet. It's $1.99. It sounds like an interesting book, so I'm just going to hit that purchase button. And I have a new cheap Kindle book. Um, who knows when I'll get around to this? But $1.99, I really don't care if I never get to it. So that is a trick you can use for browsing through cheap Kindle books because it will sort by lowest price to highest price. There are some anomalies. Sometimes you will notice um, in your $1.99 books, a book that is like $11.99 or $12.99. That means you missed the deal, that it was on sale for a cheaper price and they've gone ahead and raised it again and you did not catch it. And there is some sort of a uh, database syncing in the background when a, a price raises, it takes a bit for it to filter down through all your list. So you just miss it. But in the long run, this is a very good method, such as um, there's a book that I wanted, um, Our Share of Night by Marina Enriquez. It's normally $13.99, and it's not a book that I'm going to buy for $13.99. It's available at my library. The library wait list is like 10 weeks. So no, I have not bought it. But when it went on sale for $3.99, now $3.99 is sort of the, the upper limit for these, these, these Kindle deals that I'll pay, but I bought it for $3.99. Another good deal I got recently was um, The Hot Beat by Robert Silverberg. Normally that goes for a dollar, no, I'm sorry, goes for $9.99. And I got it for $1.99. Now, this is, um, now Robert Silverberg is, of course, a science fiction author, but he wrote some early crime novels. And this is a crime novel published by um, Hard Case Crime. So I definitely grabbed it at $1.99. I think it was only on sale for about a day. I also picked up The World According to Garp by John Irving. That normally sells for $14.99. Yeah, yeah, I'm not paying $14.99 for an ebook especially a book that's that old, 40 years. But $1.99, I definitely picked up World According to Gart. I know there's someone out there who wants to buddy read with me. I have the name on the tip of my tongue. I'm going to reach out today and see if she still wants to buddy read it. Um, I also got The Other by Thomas Tryon, um, normally $9.99. Also on a sale for $1.99. Definite, um, it is one of these, uh, the New York um, Book Review uh, Classics. I love the paperbacks, but $1.99, I got it. And another good one was Sister Maiden Monster by Lucy A. Snyder, normally $12.99, snagged it for $2.99. Now, here's the, the deal on the prices. Sometimes they'll go down to 99 cents. Sometimes they're $1.99 or $2.99 or $3.99 or even $4.99. It's, it's really hard to tell. Now, some popular fiction books will go on a flash sale, such as Our Share of the Night. Um, but you have to be quick. Um, this is why on my iPhone, um, whenever I have a little break in the day, such as uh, upstairs and my wife's cooking dinner, and she says, five minutes till dinner. I'm not doing anything in five minutes, but 
I can browse my um, Amazon wish list to see if anything is on sale. And a lot of times it is. So that is my tip and trick for finding these um, Kindle deals. And like I said, they're better than crack. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.